Dance Away Home uh, was co-created with my dearest friend, Nan Kaiser. And that literally came out of, um, I had an audio, I think an audio, what do you call that? Not clairvoyant, but it was a clair audience. Clair audience. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. I heard a voice that told me that I needed to call her and I barely knew her, but I had her phone number. Um, it was an unexpected, I wasn't asking for this. It just came to me it's sitting in a cafe, <laughs> but I heard a voice that said, call Nan or mm -hmm. Nancy at the time. Um, there's something for you to do. And I called her because I know to trust my visions. And when something like that happens, it doesn't happen very often, especially a voice. I know to respond. So I did. And um, at that point, I was wanting to work with women. I wanted to work. And I also had at that point had spent years um, and I was in the I don't really like the term anymore. But that's the new age thing in this in the 80s of working with like playing with crystals and essential oils and astrology and numerology and all that stuff. Um, and so I wanted I had also then discovered the goddess that became my path was to honor the sacred feminine and understand what that meant for me and found my own. I was kind of like a loose pagan buddhist if you were to put a term that's kind of where i was spiritually at that point and um uh so i wanted to work with the goddess i wanted to work with women i wanted to work with the elements and but i felt that i didn't have a strong enough therapeutic background i was not a therapist at all i was a dancer and an artist and a seeker and explorer so um uh, when I met with Nan, I said, you know, I'm just curious. I have no idea what this is that we are to do together, but could you share your dream with me? And you know what? She was the missing piece. She said, I'm a therapist. I want to work with women. I want to dance. I want, I'm into the <laughs> goddess. I'm into elements, I'm, you know, but I don't feel that I have a strong enough dance background. And it was like, oh my God here we are like this is perfect perfect match perfect and we started something called transcendence sorry transcendence and um and then that led to us creating um again thanks to nan who knew of this place called sheena's place a support system for people with eating disorders um, she suggested that we offer a dance support group within Sheena's place. And we came up with the name Dance Away Home and they loved it. And that's how that started. And then Nan went on to going back, truly like going deeply back into her own private practice as a psychotherapist. And I carried on with Dance Away Home, which then eventually took out into the world and created a website and uh, haven't really looked back. I mean, it just, that then grew into, um, facilitating facilitators of, that sounds weird, facilitating facilitators, <laughs> a training, training. program. Because, uh -huh. <laughs> yes, because women were coming to me and saying, I want to learn how to do what you do and share it with my community. And so that's what happened. And then also in the, somewhere in there of doing Dance Away Home, Nan and myself and five other people, um, catalyzed by a friend, we just des we decided to create this um, ecstatic dance Friday night event called the Move, which became the biggest ecstatic dance I think in um, in Toronto at the time, and carried on from I think it's been I think it was eighteen years ago that we started, and it was thriving until the pandemic. Uh, so dance definitely just became, even my visual art, but prior to that I had, you know, was a clothing, did a clothing line and I had boutique and I was a jeweler and um, I was an art graduate and, but the art kind of took 
the background and dance became my my thing. Your thing.